So it is now uh, 10 a.m., and we are ready for our first talk. And I know you've been waiting, but both of you have been waiting to do this talk for a while. And it's my pleasure to introduce you, Basham and John. Hello. Backside, can you hear me? Okay, thank you. Today, uh, we will talk about uh, Wi-Fi threat modeling and monitoring with my coworker. Uh, but firstly, I want to introduce myself and my coworker. But before I begin, I want to say we love Wi-Fi hackers. Uh, I am Besim. Uh, we come from Turkey, and uh, this is a lot of information about me. And for now, I'm working as a security engineer in Barikat Cybersecurity in Turkey. And I am developer of the Wi-Fi Hunter project. Uh, Wi-Fi Hunter project can detect a lot of Wi-Fi attack and can monitor a lot of uh, Wi-Fi threat. And today, I will uh, talk about the Wi-Fi Hunter. And I'm founder at uh, Pantester Training uh, about Wi-Fi. And now I am student in Turkey, uh, computer in computer security, in Suleiman Demiral University. And before then, I will attend a lot of conference in Black Hat in DEFCON. Uh, before then, I uh, I did presentation in Black Hat Arsenal, and uh, I have a book in Turkey about wireless attack and monitor defense, but just now, uh, just Turkish. And if you learn a uh, secret information from my book, you should learn Turkish, <laughs> maybe next year. And uh, I have a hobbies uh, for fight against the Wi-Fi hackers. Uh, and uh, now, uh, my coworker uh, will go on, and I will come back again, and we will enjoy with Wi-Fi Pineapple and Karma Attack. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Is it clear? Great. I am Jan Kurnas. Uh, actually, I'm originally from Turkey. We worked together. Then I moved to Netherlands two years ago, and I'm now working for KPMG Netherlands. I already presented on Black Hat this year, and also on last year's DEF CON and this year's DEF CON on IoT Village, etc. Yeah, for my ho yeah hobbies, my hobbies are IoT and ICS security. Uh, I'm working as a penetration tester, and I'm also contributing to uh, White Pie Hunter. We are also discussing each other for the ideas, etc. And also this project come up with uh, collecting the ideas when we are discussing. So today's agenda, we have uh, we will talk about, of course, Wi-Fi networks. Uh, we will try to profile Wi-Fi hackers. Then, uh, after then, after doing this, we will try to create uh, some sort of uh, threat model about the Wi-Fi hacking. Then we will try to fight against Wi-Fi hackers. And of course, at the end of the presentation, we will discuss about the recommendations. Sorry. Uh, okay. I made a mistake, sorry. <sighs> yeah. So about the Wi-Fi networks. Yeah, uh, Basim was developing a tool called Wi-Fi Hunter. Basically, the idea was uh, trying to see the uh, Wi-Fi pineapple around, the co around your company or around your environment if you run as an individual. So after that, we come up with an idea that we can maybe create a, some sort of a tool that we can do every single steps to catch Wi-Fi pineapples. And then we, we, are trying, we started trying to implement some tools in order to have some sort of protection for the Wi-Fi hackers. And as you can see in here, mostly, um, if you're already connected to a Wi-Fi with your phone, after that, basically your phone will take a look on the, on, on everywhere. If 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 your Wi-Fi is open on your phone, it will take 
take a look everywhere by just sending the probe request to the air if the access point is still over there. Um, yeah, your, your phone or your laptop will constantly send this, then it will, it, it will be looking for an answer as a probe response from an access point. So if an access point that you already provided the password, if the, or if you already if you have been connected to a access, uh, open let's say access point with the same SSID with the same name, if any of any other access point will answer to that answer to your phone, it will try to create an authentication request. It will your phone your device will send authentication request to the access point then access point will send back to the authentication response, then the connection will start, and also the association request and associ association response, after that, you will be connected, basically. So your access point, yeah, so the access point is just sending the beacon frame, and your device will try to find, uh, try to find uh, the SSID that already knows. So, uh, we tried. We try to create uh, a profile of the Wi-Fi hackers. We take a look to the, uh, to the, let's say, field, what uh, what they are using at the moment, and mostly we we have seen that they are creating open Wi-Fi networks in order to prevent, yeah, in order to prevent any any password authentication because it's really easy to connect for you, and. A lot of stores, a lot of places, malls, etc., are providing these kind of uh, open networks, so it makes sense, right? I mean, you can co you can just connect, then you have free internet. That's why attackers use that. We realize that's important uh, for them, and also they are they are tend to use interesting SSIDs for rogue access points because it will also bring your attention to these uh, access points and you will try to connect them like, I don't know, coffee break, like if you, if you sit on Starbucks a lot of time, you'll see the, uh, uh, SSID names related with the coffee, etc. So they are just creating a smart and catchy uh, access point names. Then, of course, it's really easy to create rogue access points by using Wi-Fi Pineapple. Uh, they also, they're also selling it in here, I think. Yeah, it's quite famous, it's really easy to use, so we've seen a lot of Wi-Fi hackers are using this device. So they are collect, yeah, basically, they are performing, performing automated attacks, automated Wi-Fi attacks, like collecting SSID information, creating SSID pool, and creating rogue access point with this SSID pool. So basically, they are trying to catch you by using uh, the smart names. And they are also using host APD MANA uh, to perform also to perform automated Wi-Fi attacks like GTC downgrade, which is basically on the ent enterprise networks. By using this downgrade method, you can get the password on clear text. They are also using this technique, and also they are using karma attacks. Uh, that This one, basically, will explain it later on detailed. And then after collecting this kind of profiles, we try to create a threat modeling for the Wi-Fi. Uh, because, of course, security of an object is quite uh, as associated with the, uh, the other objects that, that, uh, the other objects that it's used. So, I mean, if there's a weak, a weak point on a chain, it will be a problem for you. So we come up with this map. We are of course open to open to let's say develop this with you guys. If you have any advices or if you want to discuss anything on this, please be uh, please don't hesitate. So we focused on uh, let's say roughly three points. First, the access point, of course. The second one, your Wi-Fi IDS and IPS intrusion prevention and intrusion detection system and of course the environmental threats. So for the access point, we realized uh, there are some open source tools or open source, let's say, um, uh, sources that you can find your SSID, your geolocation, your passwords. Basically, uh, some, some tools, right, on, on Android or something on 
iOS. Basically, when you go somewhere, if you get the password, then you're just writing there and providing everyone the password and the location. So someone else after after uh, someone else will come there, and then then they can check if the password is over there, and they can use connect and for the free internet. So we are checking uh, Wi-Fi map leak. We basically downloaded by using the API. So yeah, it's also risk. Of course, the other open source, uh, open source, let's say source, open source places are also the risk. And also, we are considering as a uh, we are considering the version of your access point and also brand of your access point as a uh, threat because it could be. I mean, it could be vulnerable to a certain type of attack, or it could be vulnerable to a, I don't know, some sort of an exploit. So we also need to be aware of that. We are also considering that as a risk and a threat. And of course, uh, broadcast denial of service is a risk that could affect your access point, and it would be, a, uh, it won't be, uh, it won't be available when this attack comes. And also for the access point. Uh, pretty sure we are also considering the password is a threat because if you are using weak password, which is quite easy to crack, it's also a risk, right? And of course, for these access points, we have users which are connected to the access points, and also the user devices are a threat for uh, for the Wi-Fi environment because basically your phone, your uh, laptop, etc are saving the password of the access point. And also for the users, um, if someone else sends prop requests for the user, uh, sorry, so user sends prop requests to the air, then it might leak some sort of information about the, uh, about the access point or about anything else. Yeah, some location like a hotel name, etc. So it's sort of, a, uh, yeah. I mean, what can I say here? I mean, last year you stayed in Vegas and you didn't tell your wife, but your phone connected once. Then when you go home, your phone will try to send it again, try to find the access point of the Caesar's Palace. Then it would be a threat if it's detected, right? So you can think about something like this. And also the karma attacks are a risk. And for the Wi-Fi intru intru intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention systems, we also wanted to know how secure are them or, or how mature are them because, yeah, you are having them, you are setting this up, but you don't know if you set it up securely or if you, uh, in, if you are not sure if it's correctly implemented. That's why we are also considering this as a risk. And of course, rogue access points are quite a big threat for this environment in the corporate or in, in your envi uh, inside of your company, etc. And on the out of the corporate or outside uh, environmental threats, we will discuss it later, but basically we come up with this threat map. So we will try to fight against Wi-Fi hackers and Besim will continue after that point. Thank you. I come back again. Everybody ready for enjoy for Wi-Fi pineapple and karma attack and some deception techniques. Before fight against Wi-Fi hacker, we must know all solution don't need be complex. So we will think as basically and uh, think basically and aptly basically. Firstly, uh, I will explain some technique for detect uh, karma attack. And uh, in this uh, techniques, uh, we will use FF methods uh, like fake probe request, probe response, and beacon packets. But uh, before a detect karma attack, we should know uh, what's going on around here during karma attack in environment. If you know uh, what happened in uh, during karma attack, 
you can solve everything. So, uh, karma attack generally uh, use uh, a lot of probe response for all probe requests. Uh, if you your devices want to connect uh, another networks and send probe request, and if uh, there is an attacker in an environment uh, like karma attacker, always generate probe response and want to uh, trap uh, client uh, for collect a lot of information and this is a detection method and I collect uh, I collect a lot of information from air and anal uh, did an some analysis about this packet and uh, I see I just see some uh, interesting information uh, karma attacker sent a lot of probe response from just web MAC addresses. This technique uh, first method for us, and I create a, a tool name of tool P Karma, and P Karma can detect uh, Karma attacker uh, with uh, first method, like this. I want to say. Show you. Firstly. Uh, I run my tool with help option and I check my interface name it is monitor mode or not because I need monitor mode interface and I set for the send the authentication attack when I detect uh, a lot of probe response from one MAC addresses I uh, send the authentication attack for save all clients from karma attacker and as you see now collect information from a year and detect karma attack as you see this is karma attack activity one MAC addresses and five probe response for create a fake access point and send a lot of the authentication packet, as you see in Wireshark, uh, and save all clients. This is the first method for us. And uh, like same uh, uh, previously method, but uh, I did uh, show uh, different this is a fruit Wi-Fi, uh, a different tool, and create a, and generate a probe response like Karma attack, and I can catch again with this method. And another method for us, if attacker creates a lot of probe response with different MAC addresses, first method doesn't work for us. So we know if send a probe request to environment and if uh, there is a karma attacker in an environment, send to us a probe response. So if generate a probe response, generate a probe request with fake SSID uh, firstly and send to environment, uh, if uh, some devices send to us again probe response with same SSID, we can say, Yes, we catch karma attacker in environment. So for this, uh, you can use CCAPI and generate fake probe request. Uh, in other methods, uh, if, if no, uh, how does work access point and how does work karma attack we can solve everything, as you know. Access point always send beacon packet and probe response. And beacon packet and probe response, same. So generated by access points. Uh, beacon packets include BSSID, SSID, and target information as a broadcast. And probe response, same. BSSID, SSID, and broadcast information. So if see uh, if I if I see some uh, information like probe response and 
uh, I want to show you sorry I did uh, I run karma attack with my this computer and I catch a lot of packets and I save I save uh, for analyze uh, this is host APD mana activities for karma attack and uh, I want to show you from Wireshark if you want to analyze from Wireshark uh, some uh, Wi-Fi threat activity you can use wireless and wireless local area network traffic and you can see in here a lot of information like this one MAC address created a, with uh, Adroom SSID a lot of beacon packet but a uh, same MAC address send a lot of probe response from just one MAC addresses and if you choose this and click and apply as a filter selected create for us uh, step a link I will create some special filter with Fireshark and this is a probe response and I want to see if this access this real access point uh, I must show I must see a beacon packet with this SSID but if I cannot see uh, beacon packet with this SSID I can say this is fake and this is karma attacker because karma attacker cannot generate beacon packet generate just probe response yes as you see I can see just probe response with this SSID and uh, I cannot see beacon packet so I can say this is a karma attacker because uh, there is no any beacon packet related with this SSID. Okay. And uh, now I will show something about uh, Wi Fi pineapple detection technique. And uh, firstly, we must know, like Karma Attacker, how does work Wi Fi pineapple and what happened when during attack in uh, Wi-Fi pineapple in environment so uh, we will we, uh, we will show uh, three methods firstly same SSID uh, analysis secondly beacon packets and uh, fingerprint techniques for Wi-Fi pineapple And uh, this is a first method for detect Wi-Fi pineapple. And uh, generally, Wi-Fi pineapple uh, collect all SSID information from air uh, and analyze and uh, parse a beacon packet and probe request and collect all SSID information and create a SSID pool. After create a SSID pool, generate beacon packet. Uh, for create a fake access point. So, if you see uh, two access point, uh, two beacon packet, uh, one of them uh, encrypted and another them unencrypted with the same SSID, you can say yes, this is a uh, this is uh, Wi-Fi pineapple activity. What? But, but uh, you should see uh, one more than yeah. Okay, and I will show demo and write tool. Uh, this tool uh, analyzes a uh, PCAP file uh, for detect Wi-Fi pineapple acti activity. Uh, use first method with same SSID and different encryption. And now running and read the PCAP file. Before then, I create a, <coughs> I run a Wi-Fi pineapple 
and generate some activity, generate some packet for activity and save it for analyze. Now reading pick a file and we should wait uh, just one minute. This is a real demo live. Backside, can you see? Okay. Now reading uh, all PK file and I want to show uh, my codes. Yeah. Analyze all packets and uh, give us some information. I write with the scapy. And find total packets and found an unencrypted Wi Fi and pickup file and found encrypted Wi Fi networks. And as you see, uh, find uh, same SSID but different encryption in a lot of Wi Fi broadcasts. And now we can say, yes, this is Wi Fi pineapple activity in the environment. Yeah. And I will share this tool after our presentation. You can access from GitHub. And I want to explain another method about the Wi-Fi pineapple activity, same karma attack. This is same karma attack, but uh, different uh, with this point. Karma attack generally send probe response from one MAC addresses, but uh, Wi-Fi Pineapple generate uh, a lot of beacon packets from just one MAC addresses. And if you see a lot of SSID broadcast from one MAC addresses, you can see this is a Wi-Fi Pineapple activity or a lot another uh, hacker tool activities, okay? And same method with the uh, Karma attacker. And finally, uh, we can detect Wi-Fi pineapple with the fingerprint. As you know, uh, before I begin, I say I did say uh, all solution don't not don't need to be complex. This uh, basically, but uh, does work for us every time. And for fingerprint Wi-Fi pineapple, firstly create a one fake access point. If attacker create one access point, first method and second method doesn't work. But if you use this method and fingerprint when connect the network, you can detect Wi-Fi pineapple. And uh, how many people use Wi-Fi pineapple? No? I did see your sticker in your phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and when I connect to Wi-Fi Pineapple, I did see some interesting information like port number in uh, over HTTP and uh, clients and users uh, cannot change port number from web UI. And as you know, Wi-Fi Pineapple is automatically devices for Wi-Fi wi attacks, and if users cannot change port number from web UI, don't change every, every time. Use with same port. And when you connect to Wi-Fi Pineapple, if you check, when you connect to, uh, sorry, when you connect to uh, network, Wi-Fi network, if you check port number, maybe you can find Wi-Fi Pineapple. And uh, another item for Wi-Fi Pineapple, use default host name and a lot of users don't change this feature. You can detect from this. And when you connect the network, if you check DNS spoof, you can maybe you can say, yes, it could be fake access point or Wi-Fi pineapple. And I have a demo for this. I Developed tool, name of tool, P finger, and 
as you see, firstly, I will check my interface, the client mode, not monitor mode, and I write, I type my interface, sorry, and as you see, I find a port number as a true and manufacturer information and other check, check it uh, information for detect Wi-Fi pineapple and fake access point. When I detect port number is true, I visit it from website like this. Yes, we catch Wi-Fi pineapple. It's correct for us. You can try. If you have a Wi-Fi pineapple, you can try. Uh, or if you don't have any Wi-Fi pineapple, just connect one wi open Wi-Fi network and check these features, these options. And we think if attacker use another Wi-Fi pineapple uh, techniques and uh, to uh, machine, uh, we developed new tool, name of tool P Open. And as you know, firstly, my coworker uh, explained uh, Wi Fi hacker profile. And Wi Fi hacker generally use Wi Fi, uh, open Wi Fi network when want to create fake access point. And uh, in this uh, screen, as you know, firstly, P Open detect all open network in environment. After detection, we can connect automatically with external or internal Wi-Fi adapter. And after connection, we must uh, do some uh, fingerprint techniques. And firstly, but firstly, you should know some uh, Wi-Fi hackers uh, profile information. Generally, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi hacker when want to con uh, create a fake access point use DNS spoof and or uh, open Wireshark and or use our spoofing like this. And uh, generally, access all access point has uh, one web interfaces with username and admin. Okay. When I connect the network with P open after uh, detection, open networks, I check it this information like Wi Fi pineapple. If I want to check Wi Fi pineapple, firstly check default configuration uh, with same P finger techniques. And check another information like DNS spoof. If there is a DNS spoof, ARP. You can say, yeah, it, it could be fake access point because it is anormally, not normally. It is not normally if you uh, see DNS spoof or ARP in uh, Wi Fi networks. And uh, this is another technique for deception. If there is an attacker in environment, you can. Uh, run this deception technique uh, for hackers. And as you know, uh, generally Wi-Fi hackers use host APD-WPA for create uh, enterprise fake access point. When create a fake access point enterprise, you can send a lot of information fake with the fake username. And when attackers see all uh, users want to connect to fake access point. Wow, what the fucking? You can say, what the fucking? And I have a demo for this. As you see, this is a attacker mission and create a fake access point with host APDW-WPA. And this is a blue team mission and creates fake probe, uh, fake connection request to enterprise access point. And as you see, uh, 
always send pro always send fake connection requests. And in attacker mission, you can say you can see a uh, fake request. Okay. And we Yeah. Yeah, name of tool Ptrap. Uh, as you see, create a, a lot of pro, uh, fake requests to uh, enterprise networks. If there's an attacker in the environment, you can uh, configure mind. Yeah, you can confuse the hacker. And another deception technique for Wi-Fi pineapple and uh, for karma attacker. This is a Pinocchio. John, if it's possible, can you explain Pinocchio? No, okay. Uh, pin <coughs> this is tool, <coughs> firstly, collect all SSID information if, uh, in air, from air and uh, par can parse uh, all MAC addresses and SSI all MAC address SSID information from probe request. After parse all information, you image it. This is a proxy on air and collect all information and change all SSID and send again to environment to air and if attacker in environment, you can uh, put a lot of fake probe requests like I'm Roj, turn off Wi-Fi, I'm fake access point, dangerous Wi-Fi, to SSID pool in Wi-Fi Pineapple, you know. And uh, if you generate like this SSID probe request, uh, you can, uh, no, a karma attacker always generate probe response with this. And when you check your phone like this and check your computer, you can see a lot of info, uh, information. And attacker inform to you, I am attacker. Always inform to user in environment this model. Just collect SSID information and change all SSID information and send with the same MAC addresses to environment. And if there is an attacker in environment, you can see like this and inf attacker inform to you about attack. And another uh, threats for us, and as you know, John explained something when uh, talk about the Wi-Fi att attack map. This is a threat for us, uh, the authentication attack, hidden Wi-Fi network, SSID brute force, similar SSID, open network, in interesting SSID. All of them threat for us. And uh, we create tool, name of tool PDANS. PDANS can uh, detect and monitoring all environmental threat. Environmental threat, not a direct threat for your company. This, uh, um, we can, we can, uh, we should think it could be threat maybe next time, but not not, not now. Okay. So, uh, if you see a lot of the authentication packets in your in the environment, you can say maybe hacker try collect handshake. Yeah, it could be. And maybe hacker try jamming for, for disconnect all clients from networks. And maybe hacker try trap clients with the ROG access point and always disconnect client from real access point. Yes, it could be. This, it could be threat for us. Not now, but maybe next time. Another threat for us, interesting SSID, and as you <coughs> remember, John explained this feature when <coughs> talk about 
uh, Wi-Fi hacker profiling. And <coughs> hacker generally use interesting SSID and uh, <coughs> yeah, sorry. If you see a lot of information with interesting SSID in environment, not directly to your thread, you can say, yeah, it could be thread and it could be hacker here. Because we see a lot of interesting SSID in environment. And another thread for us, similar SSID. If you have a company and broadcast some SSID, like Barricade, can you explain this, John? So basically, basically, if you are using a name with the capitals, and if someone else will create with the, some of the lower, lower characters, or if someone else would use uh, for instead of A, or I don't know, at instead of A, like, like this, and yeah, it's quite likely uh, that you, you might connect on these networks because you already know the original name and yeah, if you're drunk or if you, if you, have, if you are not having attention, it's, it's likely to connect to these networks. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, finally, thread for us in the environmental thread, uh, how many people know malicious cable and VHID injector? How many people? Okay. And as you know, like this uh, devices, w uh, when, when you uh, plug to your computer or uh, s uh, some client uh, computer, uh, create for you hidden networks and you can say you can connect to hidden network and hack clients but this is uh, so this is threat for us we should uh, monitoring all hidden uh, network all hidden wi-fi network for detect this activity if you detect some hidden network in your, uh, in your environment and maybe if you analyze and detect a real name of the hidden SSID, uh, you can, maybe you can detect malicious cable in your company or malicious, uh, malicious VHID injector like USP rubber ducky, like this. Uh, this is just example. Uh, it could be another devices. And as I say, uh, we create a tool in uh, Wi-Fi Hunter. Can, if you use this tool, can detect uh, all of them, hidden SSID information, same SSID, different encryption, and the authentication attack density, like this. And uh, now we have no any recommendation. Yeah. If you have a pineapple, please turn Wi-Fi pineapple. Please turn off your Wi-Fi pineapple and get us. <laughs> okay. Thanks to all Wi-Fi hackers. Thank you for listening us. <laughs>